Hey everyone, how are you? I haven't seen anybody out there since August. I, I wasn't even active the whole month of September. Just really wasn't feeling it and I needed some time away and I, I still do really. I'm not really into it, but uh, I didn't want to be away too long. And Some people sent me comments asking me, uh, you know, what's going on? How am I doing? Did I get anything new? So uh, I'm going to show you some stuff that uh, you know, I haven't shown yet. And I also have a news item. Uh, by the way, before I get on with that, I don't know, I have, I have some Beatles stuff here, a lot of Beatles stuff, and a lot of non beetle stuff. Don't know if I'm going to put it all in the same video, or maybe I'll just uh, save the non beetle stuff for another time. I'm pretty sure that, uh, barring some kind of really great find or great event, I probably won't be making another video in October. I mean, but you never know. I mean, I, I'm definitely going to be making a video in November, though, because I want to talk about the news. Uh, a lot of you out there who like the Beatles probably know this already, uh, but there's been an announcement, a big announcement, that a lot of Beatles fans have been waiting for for a long time. Well, you remember this album, right? The Beatles One, the uh, number one songs hits compilation. It came out in the year 2000. Well, we always wondered why they weren't going to make a follow-up with the videos that the Beatles made or the promotional films. And that's been announced. That's coming out. It's going to be uh, something like this. It's going to have the same kind of cover, uh, only it's going to be a, a number one in blue instead of yellow. And uh, there's also going to be a plus sign, a one plus. You're going to have the standard one version that you can buy, and you're going to have one plus. Now, a lot of you have probably already heard of it. What that's going to be is it's going to be 50, that's five zero, 50 Beatles promotional films that they made, videos, uh, you know, if you want to call them. They've all been remastered and meticulously fixed up they look beautiful and 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 it's just very exciting it's something that Beatle fans have wanted for a long time uh the thing is you're gonna have also uh the cd of the the beatles one songs that's going to be remastered in 5.1 sound so all of these on here are going to be remastered in 5.1 audio uh but the real bonus for the fans are going to be the 50 videos now the only catch is uh, you're going to have the standard version, so to speak, something like this, that's going to have just the videos that are featured on here. I guess 27 videos or some, somewhere around there. If you want the other 23 videos, you have to buy the, the deluxe edition, which is going to be called One Plus. That's basically all the information I can give you. Um, it's supposed to come out November the 6th. I'll be looking forward to it, and I'm sure I'm going to be doing a review of it. I uh, don't know how many videos, if any, I'm going to make before then, but all right, let's get started with some Beatles stuff here. Uh, here's a CD that I picked up. Uh, it's a, a bootleg called The Silver Beatles, and uh, the reason I really got this is, it, well, for one thing, it's got the Deco Audition tapes, which, of course, I've got uh, numerous times, but the real uh, thrill about this is there's a recording on here that's said to be, uh, I think, with Pete Best, although uh, further research shows that it's actually Ringo on drums. It's a Cavern Club rehearsal from uh, earlier in 1962 when they do stuff like I saw her standing there very uh, unusual version with the uh, harmonica in it and uh, also they do a couple of takes of uh, the one after 909 and a couple of takes of uh, an instrumental called Cat's Walk so that was good to get now here's something that I picked up that I really didn't even know existed uh, this is a 2015 release, and somehow I just came across the knowledge. I didn't even know it was out. This is a 10-inch record, and it's uh, Carl Perkins and Friends, the Blue Suede Shoes Rockabilly Session that was on HBO in 1985, and it featured uh, Eric Clapton, Carl Perkins, George Harrison, Ringo Starr, and Dave Edmonds, among others. And this was a nice surprise. This was a, If you haven't seen this, uh, you probably find it on YouTube and look at it. It's a great, great performance. If you're into, well, any of them, everybody gives great performances. All of all of them do. Uh, but if, for Beatle fans, uh, George Harrison really shines on this, and so does uh, Ringo Starr. So it, it, I didn't even know they had they put this thing out. Uh, it's, it's ten inch, which is available now. I got it off Amazon. Uh, I didn't put this back in here. Inside you have a. Kind of like liner note sheet that tells you about the event and the tracks and everything and what you need to know. Uh, this is really uh, hard to put back in here because they're very tightly packed. The uh, 
materials inside here. Uh, you get, I'm going to see if I can get this out of here successfully. It's hard to, I took it out and played these already, and it's hard to get them back in. They're very tight. I should have been ready for the video. Oh boy. Um, okay. Two records set. Here's one. As I say, 10 inch records. There's uh, one label there, an orange, part one, or is this part two? This might be, whether it's record one or two, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. You got one of them there, like that. When I, when I ordered this, I didn't expect it to be a 10-inch record, I actually expected it to be a 12-inch. I was kind of surprised to find that it was a 10-inch release, and I'm kind of happy about it, too. I like a novelty like that. And there's the uh, blue label, is the other disc. So, uh, you guys out there who didn't know about this, as I didn't know, you got to have this. It's really, really great performance. Uh, George does uh, Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby. Ringo does a great version of Honey Don't and Matchbox uh, and a lot of other songs, too. Uh, it's all good. I mean, from, you know, uh, Dave Edmonds, Clapton, Carl Perkins. I'll put this back in later. Okay, uh, also picked up this kind of a duplicate. This is a sealed copy, which is the reason I bought it, of a novelty record called Beatles Songs. And there's a lot of, you know, silly songs here that the, you know, We Love You Beatles and uh, Pop Hates the Beatles, Let It to the Beatles, you know, all those kind of novelty songs that they did. But this was in the shrink, unopened. Now we've got Paul McCartney, two-record bootleg. Paul McCartney and Wings Fly South. This is the 1975 World Tour. And the yeah, quality's not that great on it, you know. It's not a, something I really need to have, needed to have, but I collect the pieces in the, in, for the collection more than listening to this one. You know, I probably just like to have it more than uh, actually play it. Here's a record, uh, we're going to see a bunch of these, next whole bunch of these are going to be John Lennon records. I found a lot of John Lennon records. Uh, this is one that I had, a bunch of these I had in my old collection that I talk about that I sold off and I got back these. Uh, this one here, Working Class Hero, Bootleg. Uh, the one I had uh, in my original collection was in better shape than this. It's kind of, the uh, paper on here is kind of bubbled up. I think a little water damage maybe from the person's collection who had this. But it's got uh, a lot of good stuff on there. You see uh, the Mike Douglas show, uh, John with Chuck Berry. Uh, it's got the Elton John stuff on it when he was uh, on stage with Elton John in 74. And it's a two record set. A lot of odds and ends here. This was another one I was glad to get back. I have this in the flap, so I'm not going to open it. The flap sleeve. It's uh, the Rock and Roll album uh, Sessions. And it's really called uh, You Should Have Been There. And you can see uh, it's a little different cover there with a different picture of John on it. And a lot of good stuff here, you know, for the rock and roll sessions, uh, including a kind of X-rated, you might say, version of a, a song that John does. Uh, I think it's Just Because. He's kind of drunk. It was a very drunken session, a lot of these. So... I was glad to have this again, because it's one that I missed from my old collection. But also, uh, this here is another knockoff of it. It's a really cheap looking well, this is called This is called the May Pang Tapes. And this is a standard, you know, st stick a piece of paper on a white jacket and call it a, an album routine. Which is kind of a single album condensed version of the double one I just showed. So, uh, that's, a, that's a one I used to have too. Here's something I've never had before. Uh, John Lennon for president. David Peel and the Super Apple Band. And whether it's really real or not, it seems to be autographed by David Peel. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's... It's got a signature down there. David Peel. Inside uh, here we've got... Bring Back the Beatles as a David Peel song. And this particular sheet of paper also has a signature on there. I don't know who would bother 
you know, forging a David Peel signature. So, you know, <laughs> it's probably going to be real for whatever it's worth. Um, another John Lennon album, uh, two record set, Reflections and Poetry. And I used to see this album around a lot. Don't know why I never grabbed it. Even in the old days, I saw it around a lot. But uh, what's another one? It's got uh, some interviews here with John. Uh, John and interviews and some other stuff. The gatefold is nice. Okay, you know, it's funny. Our collection, how it drives us, you know, collecting habits. I, I just bought a copy of John Lennon Live in New York City a while ago that's still sealed. Well, yeah, I found another one that's still sealed. So now I got two sealed copies of this. reason I bought another one was because this one's got the hype sticker. That's correct. I actually bought another one sealed because it's got a hype sticker on it. And I really think that really makes the cover. So I picked it up. John Lennon Live in New York City, an album that is said to be in the remastered stage. This was a really kind of lacking album quality-wise, and supposedly this is going to be redone. Uh, you know, for the longest time, I think I think it was Jack Douglas. Douglas was supposed to do it. Don't know what's taken so long on that. I um, uh, picked up uh, a book. This is a book I used to have. For all I know, this could be my old book because I. I sold this to the uh, guy I bought it from years ago and I got it back. It's a book called The Beatles Again, hardcover. It's uh, basically a follow-up to a book that came out in 1975 called All Together Now. It's a discography. You know, right now these kind of books, are, discographies aren't really that necessary anymore. The old one, All Together Now, went up to 1975 releases. This goes up into the, the late 70s releases. 76, 77, 78, maybe 79, I don't know. Um, I've got a bunch of old Mojo magazines. Uh, a lot of these came into one of my stores. Uh, the reason I, I just bought them because, you know, the Beatles are on, of course, and they're about the Beatles, but also because inside there's good material here and good photos that I really, really liked. Um, that's why I bought it, and the covers aren't really much to look at, but there were a lot more than these. There was something like 20 or 30, 30 of Beatles-related Mojo magazines, but I just didn't want to get them all. I've got a closet full of magazines that I don't really do anything with. Uh, once, once in a while, I look at them, you know. Uh, so I don't go crazy anymore. Uh, the last thing I have Beatle-wise, I don't know if I'm going to show more than the, just the Beatles here. I may. Because it's been a while. So, finally got the deluxe version of George Harrison's the shows well with the brainwashed. It's a CD that came out and it's got a DVD in it too. The only thing I had in my collection was the standard uh, single disc CD release, but this came in used and uh, in good shape. It's got. CD and a DVD, of the, I guess, you know, the making of the album and st stuff like a sticker, Dark Horse sticker, and this must be the bonus DVD, I'm guessing. Greenwashed, uh, maybe. And there is a poster in here. If I could open it up without ripping it too much. <clears throat> One side of this, of course, looks like it's the album cover, you know? Kind of the Crash Test Dummies album cover poster. But you got the George Harrison poster, which is nice inside there, too. Folds into a George Harrison poster. Um. I don't know, originally the single CD was enough for me, but uh, this is really one of George's better albums, I have to say. This has really grown on me. I didn't do a proper review of this yet, but uh, it's grown on me over the years. Um, oh, there's something else in here. Oh, it's a guitar pick, I think. I think we also got a George Harrison guitar pick in here. Um, 
I think uh, I may just go ahead and show what other non Beatles related items I bought. This is really cool. This is a beautiful, beautiful copy of a mono version of the Rolling Stones out of our heads uh, with the shrink on it. And it's got the hype sticker, Rolling Stones greatest album, album featuring I Can't Get No Satisfaction. Uh, this is an upgrade. I got a nice copy of this already, but uh, you know, it's the original uh, red label, if it shows. The red label? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, he has a shrink wrap copy of uh, Linda Ronstadt's Silk Purse. Really nice album, nice cover. I got some Elvis stuff here too for Elvis fans out there. Here's a nice uh, shrink wrap copy of Elvis Today and it's got the sticker on there, the hype sticker T-R-O-U-B-L-E. Here's a Elvis bootleg, live experience in Vegas, February 1971. Okay, yeah, no more Elvis, but in the Elvis vein, this is a really cool album I got, Twisting with Dwayne Eddy. I really like the sound of this, a lot of real good guitar on this. Dwayne Eddy album. See the label back there, barely. Uh, he has a real nice one. Uh, his biggest hits, Little Richard. And uh, that's like a, an original specialty label. And. Uh, Last thing I wanted to show, this is kind of a, an upgrade of sorts. This is a better condition than the one I had. The Edgar Winter Group, uh, they only come out at night. I mean, the reason I have this is purely for one song that I loved growing up. It's Frankenstein. Uh, it came out as a hit single back in 73, and I got the whole album. I had a copy of this, but really trash, like for a dollar. This is nice. And as I say, that's it. Uh, not to repeat myself, but for those that might have missed it or weren't paying attention, uh, just wanted to show you, you know, that I'm still around here, uh, just uh, lurking around. I've uh, been doing a lot of other stuff and taking a break, actually, from making videos, and I'm still going to take a break. Uh, I'll check in every now and then. Uh, I'll be back, hopefully, for November to do that Beatles 1 Plus videos uh, release review. So, thanks, everybody, for sticking around, and... Let's go Mets!